Cope Hammer is he on the plane to Germany for you oh. Steve oh he'd have to be now wouldn't he absolute what a season this kid's had and you have to take your hat off to him to push through the move to go and play because you probably thought that his pathway through at Man City he couldn't see one with the likes of Foden and Grealish and these people in his in his way now Gareth's got a big huge great problem to have he's got three number 10s in my opinion who are all all top top class in 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 Bellingham of course and you've got him and then you've got Foden so you've got three basic number 10s and Madison and Madison you have to put him into the into the equation I'm sure in his mind he's got in his mind maybe Gareth will have it that you play Foden to a side and of course Cole can as well but big decisions to be had and mm. how good are them three and oh. this kid this kid has been this kid has been a breath of fresh air since he's joined Chelsea he's been wonderful to watch yeah. and I'm staggered to hear that he's got you know he's got now 10 assists and 20 goals the same as Erling Haaland mm. in the Premier League yeah. fantastic amazing amazing uh, you were his former manager Jack Grealish does Jack make the squad do you think for me yes you'd have to have Jack Jack in it his dad Kevin listens every day oh, I'm, so sure, he do, I'm sure he does I'm sure he does what Kevin. do you think well I'm going to because I'm, I, I'm a big admirer of Jack and haven't worked with him and especially in your competition and you're away for f six weeks, and let's hope they're away for six weeks. You need someone like Jack to have have around the place, you know, not just his football ability, but his personality, the way he is, the way he is around a group. He's he's great fun. He's a really great lad, and of course, the kid can play and offer something different, which, which, which obviously some can't. So you're saying you're absolutely. I'm sure saying that he's got to be. He's got to be on yes. the plane. Is he on the plane for you, Simon? We've sworn about Jack before. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a dyed in the wool massive admirer of Jack Grealish. I appreciate the fact he's a good player, and I appreciate the fact that the price tag that went with him is not his fault. And I appreciate the fact that Pep Guardiola isn't blind and doesn't buy bad players. But I don't look at Grealish in the same way that others do. I think Souness is in the same camp as me, which is doesn't let the ball go enough, doesn't doesn't do things that he should and could do, isn't as effective as as people think he is. And this season, he hasn't done very much. So. If you're bringing him in because of what you think he might do, I don't know. Is that the is that the credentials for selecting someone to play for England? I thought that you got selected based upon what you do, not what you might do, and and ultimately, and and on your recent form. So, I don't think necessarily he's a shoe in to go on the plane. I understand why Steve might, and I don't have a you know a particular strong view on whether he does or he doesn't. Mm. I think people like Foden are playing so well that those are shoe ins. I think Jude Bellingham a shoe in. I think the argument around Cole Palmer as being domestically successful and then stepping into the international frame yeah. is a different one. Yeah. Because at this moment in time, his form's electric. If you look at him yesterday, he looked unplayable. Yeah. yeah. But it's he's different. He's got this arrogance him. about him at the yeah, minute. He's got swagger. Yeah. He looks like a quality, quality player with a bit of time. He always seems to be never flustered. The kids, the kids um, got it all at the minute and playing at the height of his confidence. And is that, you know, for all these people out there that he should pe uh, pick players who are in form? then he would have to go. Yeah. I'm outnumbered being Scottish living in London, Mr. Bruce, as you might imagine. Whenever uh, I ask anybody, and I do ask a few people, England, they're going to win the Euros. The answer I get, well, should do, should do. Are you going to tell me this morning they will do? Well, I said I said a few weeks ago, we'll never have a better opportunity. And now I believe we have got a superstar in Bellingham. Is he the missing key to what we've been missing? I know we've got other great players. This kid is something else. And he could win the tournament for us. I hope he does. I really, really genuinely think that we're in an outstanding chance. But we've still got to beat the French and the you know, the Germans at home are never gonna be easy. So We'll beat them know, in the opening game. <laughs> I'm sure you will. But uh something uh, to look for um, something to look forward to. Yes. So it's still look, when you get to this, laughing through there. When you still get to the unique level yeah. at the highest level, you know, the Germans and the French in particular are the ones to beat especially in, the, in their own backyard mm. they're not going to be any pushovers he said just the other side that he being Simon my great chum he said going into the 11.30 break oh Steve Bruce he's my friend is he your friend? yes absolutely I would count Simon as a, as a friend oh, I, nice. I don't see him often and you know it's it's been well talked about over the years yes lots of years lots of years and mm. and uh and I was wrong I, at the time. I've said to Simon Steve, since to back and saying that I was I was wrong. Yeah. And you know the daft thing is too, 
I really, really enjoyed being down here. I loved coming to London. <laughs> I'd love to go and have a, a crack at London. Come and, on, uh, and and, uh, and and you know, if it didn't, it didn't last very long, unfortunately. Well, I want to do that. I want to talk about what is next for you, Steve, because um, even at 63, you've still got a lot to give the game, and I know that. It's lovely that we're all friends together. How lovely. There's a message, uh, Simon, from Jack, one of many coming in now on England. We finished off the last part talking about England, and Steve was saying he would uh, take Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish would be included in Steve's squad. Maybe Gareth will do that. James Madison says Jack is the one I wouldn't take, and I'm a Tottenham fan. you get got players like Palmer, Grealish, Foden, Bowen. Much better options for England. What do you think about that, Steve? Jared well, Bowen, you know, is he going to make it? Well, I've got a big affinity. I've signed Jared Bowen with Hull for fifty thousand quid a long time ago when he was <laughs> when he was sixteen. So I know all about him. I knew all about him, um, and had him parked up at Weatherby Services trying to take him to Newcastle and couldn't get it over the line, and he went to West Ham. So one that got away. Um, look, this kid scores goals. Even in Hull, he scored 50 goals and before he got his move to West Ham. Yeah. He's got a knack of scoring a goal. Where maybe he hasn't got the natural flair of the other ones you're talking about, but he's very, very effective. Got an eye for a goal. Ah, how would you back against him as well? Definitely Jared Bone would have to be, comes into contention. Sure. And here, that list now is just getting, there's five or six players who could all play in one position. Yeah. You know, or two positions. So, yeah. How how big's the squad? Is it twenty three or twenty six? Simon, come on, you're going to tell I, me. I think they're trying to. It's, it's twenty twenty three. Uh, there was there was talk that um, it it might be uh, bigger uh, near the time, but I mean, I think that uh, I think yeah, we're we're talking about twenty three. Uh, many messages coming in asking me to ask you, Steve. Would Southgate take Rashford? Would Steve take Rashford? Well, there's no doubt. There's no doubt about his ability, and that's a big big question because, you know. A year, 18 months ago, we would have had Rashford as one of the first on the plane. Yeah. Are the other guys now edging in front of him? Is a big debate. And that's why Gareth's the England manager at the moment. That's because right. that, that one I would have to sit on the fence with because I haven't seen him do enough, unfortunately. Um, and I don't think he's in a great place, which which is sad for somebody his ability and the club he's playing for. I think Steve speaks for a lot. Uh, with that no you, chance is Rashford getting on that plane what's oh, he right. done to merit it okay he hasn't done anything in the last eight I mean he had a good season uh, last year this season he's stunk the place out I don't think he's got a cat and house chance on merit on merit if we're talking about performance Steve this year you can't pick him on performance can you well is it all picked on this year or I think Gareth manages with a severe amount of loyalty yeah. for people who've done it for him in the past but if he's picking him on performance he can't pick him can he on performances at this moment yeah. in time, I think I would have to agree with you. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.